beautiful art decorates these shelves, but soon it may not be here. These are some of the examples of the thousands of pieces we have in our collection of over 40 years. Owner of Appleton Galleries, Ronald Appleton, says he has lost half his business since last July. Cars can no longer turn right onto Hornby Street because of the bike lane that continues from the Burrard Street Bridge. Without any notice, without any consultation, the city decided that for the few cyclists who actually go through this intersection, all the vehicles, all the drivers should go two extra blocks. Traffic backs up where it didn't before, and it has caused terrible harm to my business. I'm at the stage where I'm ready to retire and this wasn't the way I wanted to retire and it certainly looks like the city has imposed uh, an early retirement on me. Appleton isn't the only one on his street to claim his business is suffering. This is an operation of me and my wife and you know that's the only way we are surviving nowadays because uh, you know, she does everything here. She does all the cooking, all the desserts, everything. She makes everything here. Because if you have to buy everything nowadays, especially with this thing happening, and, you know, we cannot make it. Our business went down at least 15 to 25 percent. We cannot work for nothing. After all, we put 14, 15 hours a day, plus six days a week. <laughs> for what? To accommodate the bikes? <laughs> With City Council's recent announcement that $25 million will be spent on bike lanes in Vancouver, a couple of questions come to mind. What does the city think about Appleton and Kornakia's claims? And what about all those other businesses that could soon have one of these at the beginning of their street? I would just have to take his word for it, uh, that he has uh, quite a reduction in his business. And, but I don't know whether that can be attributed to just that right-hand turn. Chow says a report on the effects of the bike lanes will be presented to Council soon. Alison Bailey in Vancouver for BCIT Magazine.